Welcome to my podcast that will deliver a review and critics of a famous movie with well-known subjects. Script and voice by me, Arun Puspitasari, and my last three number is 090. So stick around because I will give you a side that will open your perspective towards this movie. So, ladies and gentlemen, on this occasion, I will give my review towards a movie that has a powerful message about India's system class. Especially this movie which was found on Netflix recently. I think you guys must know this movie. I will give you a clue to break down this riddle. I took three famous quotes from this movie. First is, rich men are born with opportunities they can waste. And second, men born in the like, like my master, have the choice to be good. Men born in a cop like me, you don't have that choice. And the last quote is, what a miserable life having to hide his religion and name just to get a job as a servant. With a glimpse of this quotes, did you already know this movie? Yes, it is what Tiger movie. When I first saw him, this was the master for me. The film offers a grim tale of corruption and betrayal. Examining the complex dynamics of the employer servant relationship in India while delving into the country's stark rich pool, divide and its class and caste issue, an operation of India's poor people. The genre of this movie is crime and drama. The director is famous, I think, because she has published many movies. His name is Ramin Bahram. And the producer, I think you guys must know this girl because she is so influential in India. Her name is Priyanka Kopra Jonas and the writer are Ramin Bahrani. He is right for the screen and the Arvind Adiga, she is writer based on the book or novel. The cast are Adras Gaurav, Rajkumar Rao, Priyanka Kopra Jonas, Fidan Sinha, and Kamlis Gill, and so on. The production of this movie are La Familia, Arai Filmworks, and Netflix. Actually, this movie was released on January 22, 2021. The duration is 2 hours 5 minutes. The nationality exactly in the end and a little bit United States. And the language is Hindi and English. The sound mix from Dolby Atmos. Actually, this movie portrays a poorer man that cater to the white Western gaze, reinforcing stereotypes that the poor are helpless. This poor man is Balram Powai that portrays his epic and darkly commercial ascent from helpless villager to successful entrepreneur visionary in the present day India. Clever and yearning, a young saint maneuvers his direction turning into a driver or Asok and Pinky, who have recently returned from the United States. Balram grew up in the rural town Laksmangar, where his grandmother dictated every move. Society has trained him to be a certain something, a servant, so he makes himself fundamental to his rich bosses. Be that as it may, following an evening of double cruising, he realized the corrupt lengths they will go to the trap him and save themselves. Very nearly losing everything, Balram opposes a manipulated and inconsistent situation to their brothers. They know they are next. Yet they don't do anything. They don't try to get out of the cup. The very same thing is done with human beings in this country as Balram and his family struggling to live to living his life in India that has a highly caste system. The main theme of the movie is the rust copter. In the movie is offensive and insulting since it dehumanized the seated individuals and infers that anybody conceived poor is compliant and subservient. India is a country with the harsh, harsh social partition. However, I disagree when Balram says that the only way the poor can enrich themselves is if they follow a life of crime, politics, or even legislative issues. He feels no remorse even when he kills his employer since it empowers him to rise the cycle of poverty. 
In my perspective, there is a risky message that infer in the story. It can degrade poor people of untiring exertions. It is plain and sheer enthusiasm that numerous poor people use to transcend the condition. Aside from that, Balram also uses his intelligence to break free of his own small town cycles. As a child, he showed academic promise. He is the only student who fluent in English and who can think outside the box, prompting a teacher to call him a white tiger, a rare beast in the jungle. He won a grant to study in Delhi, yet his dream of getting an appropriate education is crushed after the demise of his dad, who is getting sick with tuberculosis and unable to seek the treatment because the nearest healthcare facility is two days away. The family can appear to pay for Balram's everyday costs in Delhi, and he is compelled to work in a tea shop. Next, I would like to discuss about class and caste system in India. The movie portrays the caste system in India, an ancient and rigid code of social division, typically based on the occupation that people once performed. There is Dalits. Dalits is an umbrella term of people belonging to the lowest caste in India called untouchables, face even greater ascents and turn into a new kind of monster. The white tiger is really outspoken and it is interesting. It is like showing that in India, if you have start from a lower position, then the way to change is if it is not from crime, it must be from politics. The political content here is quite influential because it is related to a sox family. Then there is one line that feels really bad where it is really difficult to be someone who lives rigidly in a democratic country. We hit that part differently because it is the same with us who live in Indonesia with a democratic country. How the white tiger presents India in seeing the difference and how they have a view on it all cruelly sung in the film and this is what we have been waiting for. Although, on the other hand, the way he speaks cannot say to be able to get us in this movie. But here we understand very well a main character that is unique because of the experience he gets. The next, I would like to <coughs> elaborate a metaphor for the oppression of India's poor. A, pro a predominant image in the movie is the Rostropop, a metaphor for the oppression of India's poor. The greatest thing to come out of this country is the Rostropop. The Rostropop and the cup smell the blood from above. They see the organs of the heartless. As I saw the movie, it was told that Polaram is a hallway belonging to a lower caste who are traditionally laborers or makers of sweets. But Polaram believed that money can help him transcend and obliterate anything. The dynamics of the relationship between the characters Polaram and Asok is important considering this is a film that talks about social class. And they are both representation of that class in this movie. As I thought, nowadays an education, a good job, and financial status, all this may help people consider lower class to shield themselves from prejudice and sickle violence. But the discrimination doesn't stop just because they are already rich. In the next, I would like to discuss about the metaphor of jungle that I have been told before <coughs> about the white tiger. It is related to the white tiger. The metaphor of the jungle is just a pose with reference to areas of light and darkness. The jungle has been described as having a dual personality, an area of darkness and an area of light. The India described by the writer is two countries in one, an India of light and India of darkness. The India of light constitutes the world power technology and knowledge depicted after Balram reaches Delhi and later Bangalore. In the earlier part of the movie is the India of darkness in the village of Laksmangar to which Balram belongs and to the mining town of Danbad where he works. This is characterized by misery, destitution, and literacy. This Balram is set apart as a personality white tiger 
one who literally cuts through tremendous odds to become an entrepreneur even if it means murdering his own master. His acts makes him a fugitive in Bangalore where he declares a white beggar keeps no friends. It is too dangerous. In the earlier part of the story, when Balram works at the tea shop in Dunpat, he encounters the great socialist. This metaphor is used for because this politician who is ostensibly a champion of the poor and the downtrodden, this politician has been skillfully drawn as a socialist, a champion of the poor whom he paradoxically exploits to maintain his own power. The metaphor of paradoxically explains his ruthless side for he is neither great nor a socialist. The whole setting really supports the story with a very thick feel of Indian culture, such as the acting, the cinematography, and also the script. In the earlier scenes where it shows the crowded India market, it is very typical of India, as well as a picture of Balram's family life, which depicts the lower castle as seen from the house, clothes, and the large number of family members. The dialogue is good and proper. It seems like a real life story that maybe some poor people in India face these problems every day. So this gives you enough to think about. Thank you for listening to my podcast. I would have to become a creature that gets born. Only once every generation.